Welcome to the African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies, a place to share research, knowledge and ideas. This project is funded by the Arts and Humanities Research Council in the United Kingdom. This video considers the historical development of creative and cultural industries clusters in Mahakeng, a South African non-metropolitan town and capital of the Northwest Province. James Drummond is a senior lecturer in the Department of Geography, Northwest University, South Africa. Fiona Drummond is a PhD researcher at Rhodes University, South Africa. The chapter takes a historical approach to examine the ebb and flow of creative and cultural industries cluster development in Mahakeng, formerly known as Mafakeng Mabaho, the capital city of South Africa's northwest province during the era of the former Bobutoswana Bantustan from 1977 to 1994. It seeks to provide a greater understanding of the development of the creative economy in an African context. The study's method includes autoethnography and archival research. James Drummond gave autoethnographical account. He has lived in and researched Mahakeng since 1984 and became an accidental research participant. The authors further carried out archival research from mid-2019 into the press, news reports, government publications and two field reports of the CCIs operating in Mahakeng in 2016 and 2018. From 1977 to 1994, Mafeking was the capital of both Wutoswana, which was an independent country. Lucas Mongolpe led the government and invested heavily in CCIs, not to deliberately create a CCI cluster, but to provide the facilities that any African capital would have had as an attempt to legitimise the new country. The cultural infrastructure that the government provided included radio and TV stations, which trained the first generation of talents for the South African Broadcasting Corporation. There was also a Bobo Taswanu recording studios built in 1991. The government further established the Mabana Foundation, a facility for learning and experiencing the arts, including dance, music, gymnastics, drama and arts and crafts. There was also the University of Buputoswana and its Fine Arts Department, which held an annual art exhibition. The Department of Setswana created a dictionary including words, traditional phrases and proverbs in the Setswana language. The town also had a museum and the Bobutaswanu National Handicraft Project offered craft training in dressmaking, silk screening, carpentry, ceramics and jewellery design. The Bobutaswanu government fully funded and directed all these projects at the time when the creative economy was not a global buzzword. This meant the CCI's cluster was dependent on the state for survival. With the transition to democracy in 1994, the new ANC government, seeking to dismantle all associations with the apartheid, ceased to support and fund the Bobotaswanu cultural institutions. The SABC took over Mafkeng's radio and TV stations and later downgrading them to become the SABC's Northwest Province branch. The government rebranded the Bobotuswanu recording studios as Rhino and leased it to the SABC. But in 2003, the SABC did not renew the contract, leaving Rhino to fall into disuse and neglect, according to the field audits in 2016 and 2018. The Mabana Foundation also suffered from a lack of funds and criticisms from provincial ANC politicians who accused it of being Eurocentric and elitist. The Bobotaswanu National Orchestra attempted to rebrand itself as the South African Chamber Orchestra, but it also suffered a Eurocentric critique and failed to survive. The University of Bobotaswanu was renamed Northwest University 
and with financial cuts, its fine arts department was closed in 1996. The department of Setswanu now only has two staff members and student numbers are shrinking. For the museum, most references to the town's colonial past have been packed away or destroyed. The budget cuts across the cultural sector force talented and skilled black Africans to leave Mafeking for the big cities, which had been off limits to them due to the apartheid. Since 2018, local African entrepreneurs have attempted to fill the culture and creative void by promoting music festivals and events, but this had no lasting success. There is also the Mahika Mahikeng Festival, a government-led event aimed at promoting the Setswana language and Botswana culture, but it has not gained sufficient traction. There have also been anti-government protests related to the corruption. This led to protesters burning down the Mahabana Foundation in April 2018. The chapter shows that non-metropolitan CCI's clusters require not just state support, but also private sector and community buy-in. The management of these clusters also needs to be hybrid to include the state, private sector and local community. If Mai Keng had had hybrid management, its cultural cluster might have evolved differently and innovated in light of changing political realities. If you would like to read this research in more details, consider purchasing the book, Higher Education and Policy for Creative Economies in Africa. You can keep up to date with our work and research via the social media channels of African Hub for Sustainable Creative Economies.